Hello everyone, Vita Day 3 to back again for another What's On Deck. <clears throat> and let's get started with Kickstarter. First of all, the Anubis and the Cyrus decks and Steve Mitty have uh, funded. Uh, if you look at this, you see it's over uh, almost $94,000. And apparently that is not enough money for him. Because he will be launching a new campaign, a new project in... Uh, <clears throat> Um, 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 when is it? Whatever, I don't, um, oh, February 24th, for seven days, there will only be a hundred spots available. There's going to be 70 sets of decks, signature decks, and of, uh, pairs of signature decks, and then 15, apparently 15 of each single deck. $100 for one deck, $175 for two decks. What do you get? You get the same decks except they've been gilded and they come in different top cases. And yeah, sipping is included, but maybe if, if they combine the sipping with the other ones, it doesn't really matter anyway. Um, but it just, especially considering the current economic situation the world is facing, the exchange rate values right now um and whatnot it's just it it seems like it's way too expensive i don't see why they're worth that much to me it's worth maybe 30 or 40 dollars a deck not a hundred dollars a deck or 135 dollars for two decks that's just it's ridiculous i've seen a lot of comments and they all seem to be people who are passing on this project i haven't seen one person that says yes i'm getting this and usually almost always you see people saying that they're going to get it. But not one comment has said that. Is it going to fund? More than likely. But I think people should just, you know, step back and go, wow, okay, this is way too much money. And it's not worth it. Because it is not. Next up, Black Mint Playing Cards Limited Edition coming from February the 15th to March the 2nd on Kickstarter. Um... <clears throat> Obviously, it's going to be an add-on to this project. No idea what it looks like, but we'll find out soon enough, and that's coming tomorrow. Now, on to the new decks. First of all, there's this CMYK Minimalist Playing Cards by Ian E. Burley. This is actually a relaunch, as it says. Only a $1,200 goal, and they're just over the halfway mark. They're at 56% funded. 28 days remain. Uh, honestly, this could go either way, because it's such a low goal, and they're already over the halfway mark, but he has not listened to backers and potential backers who have said, we want suits. Instead, he has decided to make, you know, one suit blue, one is yellow, one is pink, or magenta, I guess, and the other is black. And then he has circles instead of pips, nothing in the index. They're not very usable for anything, I don't think, and it just it's not going to attract a whole lot of backers. Some collectors might be interested. I know I'm not. Um, I don't think any magicians are going to be interested. Cardists, maybe. Um, <clears throat> poker players, card players, not really. I do like the colorful back design. It features all the colors. And I like the idea for the faces, but I just think that there should be actual suits on them, actual pips to make them much more identifiable. I do not understand why the creator refuses to do that. But it's less my pledge, and I'm sure a lot of other pledges as well, as a result. Moving along, we got The Illusion by Taylor Rain, which I believe is also a relaunch. Ah, uh, yes. It's not doing too well. 11% funded, 16 days to go, not a very long campaign. Looking for 2,400 euros, and we're not really close at all. The faces, um, ugh. Just like the previous setup, could use a lot of work. It looks like she just decided to reconfigure stuff and not make any major improvements. In fact, I'll show you the original. This is the original here, the Illusion Obscurity, which I don't think I got to mention because it was, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this one last week, but you can see the faces are okay. They're semi-usable. At least you got indexes that are identifiable. There's a lot of dirt on the faces, which seems unnecessary. Um, 
And then the court guards, wow, those uh, look like photoshops. This queen looks like Kristen Kruk. They all look like they're actors or something, or models, and just photoshopped. Um, <clears throat> I had no idea what the back design was for that one. But this is what she's done now. The faces are not usable. There's no pip in the index, so if you do a poker peek or whatever, you can't identify what it is. She's changed the artwork on the court cards to just standard bicycle court cards. And, and she actually has a back design right here, which is not really that good. <laughs> and it's a one-way, apparently. Um, it just could be a lot better. That's just throwing together a project just to try and make a few bucks, in my opinion, really. It's just it's not... There's not a whole lot of thought process put into it, not a whole lot of effort. And it's not usable, it's not functional. So let's move on. That one, like I said, 11%, 16 days ago. Next up, a much better deck from Natalia Silver, her latest project. It's a Russian Folk Art Special Edition. I don't know why it's called Special Edition, why don't I just call it Second Edition. Um, <clears throat> printed by USBC. It's currently 41% funded, 31 days to go. I should make it. Um, it is a green version of her previous deck, basically, but it's been changed as well. The back design is definitely different. The previous one had more of a circle back look to it. Um, there are stretch goals for gold foil and embossing on the tuck cases. You see the artwork is similar to the previous decks. But also different. I'm not sure if I like a Joker with just one index, but that's just a minor thing. This is a Joker. But um, it's similar to the previous deck, but different. Um, I like the quick cards. Uh, I think those are different for sure. Um, so it's a good project. Uh, definitely check it out. And that's that. Next up, Magicians Must Die from Handlords. Uh, DeVoe, I do not know why he's using Kickstarter other than he wants to make sure he actually makes some money on this project before actually putting them for sale because I don't see a whole lot of people having an interest in these. Apparently he's got 84 backers and $4,600, I don't know how. It is funded, 31 days to go. Um, is there any artwork? Uh, at a $10,000 stretch goal for a special edition Blood Spear deck. What the hell is that? Is this a reprint? Is it a, a resale? I don't get it. Um, <clears throat> but I don't think they're gonna hit ten thousand dollars. The the decks are they're just they're not that good in my opinion. The all the cards basically make up a comic strip. Uh, they're not very usable for anything. It's Really only good if you like comics. The faces, as you can see, are completely standard. It's the backs that are all... It's a, it's basically a marked deck because every back is different. You just gotta remember which is which. And... One-way backs. And it's just it's not good. This is... This is one of those things that I don't feel belongs on a playing card. And it kind of be one thing if it was the faces that were custom and, you know, every face was a different part of the storyboard. But when it's the backs that are different, that's just weird. And what does he have against magicians anyway? Anyways, let's move on. Bicycle, Eglo, Ultraviolet Blank Cards. I mentioned this one before. This is a new relaunch, the Eglo 2.1. I don't know what the difference is. Currently, they are at 32% funded, 26 days to go. They're not doing themselves any favors by canceling and relaunching and canceling and relaunching and, and all that. Apparently, they're still doing both decks, a red and a blue. I just don't see why it was relaunched. Next up, La Katrina by Doc Fora. I don't know about this one. Um, he's got bicycle and USB-C branding all over the place for some reason. Uh, the artwork is not bad. It's actually pretty good. Looks like they had a model do poses and they used that. 
they're saying that they have this radiant finessing. I've never heard of that before. I have no idea what that means or what it is or if USB-C even does that. And I have no idea why they had the Jordan Corporation logo on there. Why did they say this or the crafting supplier and I have that for Duck Fora trademark. I've never even heard of Duck Mora. Fora, sorry. Uh, and it says here that it's a 310 GSM German card stock with black corn traditional finish. Uh, with radiant linen finishing. I don't understand any of those terms. Those are not USB-C terms. And I have to wonder if it's even USB-C or if we're just using a name for that. Only that, a thousand euro pledge. Who the hell's gonna get that? The artwork, like I said, that was pretty good. You see the aces. The court cards which are all women and they're all almost, if not, they're, they're pretty much repeating court cards. Just got a different pip on her forehead and minor little differences, but they're basically the same thing. And same with the queens and the kings, or the jacksoy. Or jills in this case, I guess. There's Javita, Gemenina, Justina, and Juliana, and apparently the quadruplicates. <laughs> um, you know, and here we got Quirina, Corella, Quidel, and Quiriona. And then we got these have a K. Oh, yes. Christina, Karina, Camilla, and Carolina. <laughs> How ironic. Um, the Jokers are okay. Funny, it's the only guy in the deck. And then you see the number cards, you know, it's nicely done. I just have concerns about what this finish is, if they're actually producing through USB-C. And at this rate, they are 26% funded, 43 days to go. And not sure it's going to do too well. The back design is not bad. It's just, it's basically another Day of the Dead themed deck. I have to mention this one as well. Foil point guards from Blueprint point guards, uh, aka Jason Wen, has been cancelled again. It lasted a week and he has deleted his account. Again. <laughs> it looks like he's giving up. Again. <laughs> but who knows? He'll probably be back eventually. Um, Stay tuned, we're going to talk about some non Kickstarter stuff momentarily. Alright, let's have a quick look at what else is going on. I should mention that uh, the Black Lions Red Edition by David Blaine uh, is currently on sale. I think it ends today, so make sure you check it out. Here we got some new decks coming from Card Experiment, sort of new, Bicycle Utopia. I say sort of new because they've already done Utopia, and these are just appear to be new versions, Bicycle brand new. Um, no idea when it's coming. That I think it probably. Oh, shit, that's not what I want to see. Free promotion for card release in there. <laughs> um, Cardexperiment.com. There you go, they've posted a picture here from their Instagram. Utopia Gold, they call it. No idea when they're coming, but they should be coming soon. Um, then there's this, the Lizard Bomber or Bomber Point Guards from BombMagic.tw. It's inspired by the movie The Matrix. There is a blue version, which is their standard one, $7.95. It's currently available. And then the uh, red one is a private reserve, which is only available in a two pack for 50 bucks but those are sold out it doesn't really interest me much the back design is pretty plain it just has that logo on it and then everything is fairly standard the faces a couple of custom jokers custom aces yeah it, it doesn't interest me a whole lot we'll check it out bomb magic uh, tw here we go anytime now more free promotion um
That's why the slated face is the standard, as you can see. The uh, that's not the back design. That's just like a gaff. The only other difference between the decks, you see the aces here, is that the court cards in the private reserve deck have no color. They're just red and or black. Red and white and black and white, basically, but they're still standard. Next up, Keeper from Illusionist, released the other day, free to members, obviously. Um, apparently, some people think the, the back design looks like it's uh, photosopped. Who knows? Here you see the artwork. It's more the same. Uh, custom base of spades. It is, you know, it's not bad. The back design is not bad. Fairly standard. Kind of rider back like. The Joker. Custom. Uh, and then the court cards. Bleh. The standard court cards with these magicians' faces on them. Some of them. The Queen of Hearts is just standard. Um, I don't like that. I'm sick and tired of illusionist putting out these same court cards on all their decks. How about completely customizing court cards or just nothing at all? Just standard. I, it's lazy to just change the face. Um, next up, Victorian Room from a Blue Crown went on sale last Sunday. I don't know if there's any pictures here. They did have a lower price for 48 hours, which has ended. Court cards are standard. Oops. As you can see here. But the aces have been customized as well as the jokers. The back design, very nice as you can see. Um, although it is a one-way back design because it's clock in the center. But it's very nice. I like that back design. Um, and that's that. It's now up to eleven ninety-five. Two bucks more than it was. And then we got this one. A bicycle myriad playing card set which is currently... Trying to gauge their support for a Kickstarter project, you can go to the website myriadcards.com and do their survey. Let them know if you're interested or not. This is not four different colors, it's just disappointing. It's four different colors of faces. Um, as you can see, they got little indexes in the opposite corners. They got uh, point values and all the aces. And other cards, the back design is just right here black and gold. Metallic uh, Rider backs. I don't know if that means metal lux or if it's just metallic ink So the blue deck is gonna have blue faces and then purple faces on the purple one green faces on the green and red faces on the red This makes it a little bit uh, Impractical unusable. They also got cut cards, which are double backers as you can see Metallic gold on white on one side and then the standard color on the other side and also blank cards and apparently a replacement card actually that the blank card is to be used for a replacement so as you can see if you lose a card or downs a card you just write on that card what it is um, I guess the, the best idea is if you they do do this and you do get them and you don't like all the suits being the same color, is you can switch them. You can take the clubs and spades from one deck, move them into the other deck, and vice versa with the other decks, and then you'll have two different colors per deck. And, you know, it helps that the backs are all the same color. At least if I'm understanding it, they're all the same color. Um, pretty interesting. Also, I believe each deck has... Basically, the four decks can be used to form a unique mega deck of 208 unique cards with 60 different suits. Um, etc, etc. So, yeah. That's that. Um, I think that's all I've got for this week. And I'll bring you more next week, of course. See ya.